And now we move on to the women's jump final. And in this event, it is each of our competitors have three attempts at our Nautique jump ramp and the longest distance counts. There's no points for style. It's all about distance as Steph Griffiths builds into the base of that ramp. Beautiful kick off the top here for jump number two, 46.8 metres. New personal best for Steph Griffiths from Australia. So Steph's second was in fact her longest. As we go to replay, we see Steph nice and low. Plenty of control through the wakes. Pushes hard into the bottom. Just misses a little bit of lift off the top. But nonetheless, pretty good distance for our first competitor with a leap of 46.8. So we go now to jump number two of Whitney McClintock. She had a pass on the first. The attempt number two, getting nice and low, powering into the base, just losing that right ski off the top, lost a little bit of direction on jump number two there, 44.6 for Whitney McClintock. Now her third and final. So Whitney pushes into the base of the ramp. That's better lift that time, sails through the air, and a distance coming through, 47.3. And our new leader is Whitney McClintock. And we move now to a first time competitor at the MoMA Masters. She is from Belarus and it's Alexandra Danishaskaya here on jump number two. Looking now, loading on that line, powering into the base. Looks good, got good lift off the top. Just didn't quite have the speed, the distance on jump number two. 45.3, her longest of the afternoon. Now also from Belarus, Natalia Burdnikava, her opening jump. Pushes into the base oh, and gets some brilliant lift. And oh, and nearly loses it out the front. Miraculously got herself back together. And she's gone 50.5 metres on her opening jump. Yeah, so it is scary, folks, watching these girls fly into the base of that ramp at up to 100 kilometres per hour. And watch this. She looks good. She leans as hard as she can. Just the wind sort of picked her up and nearly lost that left ski through the air there. Natalia Bertnikava, though, great jump, 50.5 on jump number one. Well, let's see if she can settle things down on her second. Turns in around about the same spot, flies in with it, a lot of speed, and just doesn't get the lift she got on the first. And that's a score of 49.5. So we go to replay, and she starts to turn in an ideal spot and sets herself beautifully low and just pushes hard into the base of the ramp. But as she comes off the top, just doesn't get the lift she got in the first. Little bit back on her heels, probably spooked, if anything, on that first jump. And uh, in the end, the opening jump, 50.5, but we caught up with Natalia on the dock. What's it like jumping in front of a massive crowd like this as they cheer you on down the bank? Oh, I mean, it's always special. That's why I keep coming back to Australia. I missed out due to the injury last year, and I'm just so happy to be back. Now, Alex Loritano from the USA. We pick her up on jump number two. She has a 49.4 on the board. Aggressive competitor. Oh, a solid jump. Well, miles of speed, and it's helped her move to 51.3 in distance. A great jump for Alex Loritano. Yeah, solid jump there. Puts her into the lead, 51.3. Look at the slingshot effect she gets. Stays composed through the wakes, just edging on that right ski, extending off the top. Probably dropped her chest a little bit off the top of the ramp, so she would have lost a few metres there. Let's hope she can prove on jump number three coming up. Well, Jared, out of all the girls, Alex probably, that we've seen so far, really relies on so much speed. She's just flying on this one and up and through the air, and this is probably the the longest oh a brilliant third and final jump 53.4 meters a new leader alex loritano well she knows she needed to put something with the world record holder hit, hitting off the dock next but look at that the power she got into the base it really extended off the top a lot better there on jump number three and it showed with a 53.4 alex how does it feel down there on the dock superb third jump what was going through your mind out there man the second jump I, my timing was good, I just couldn't get a hold of it. This last one I just wanted to do the same and just make sure I get it off the ramp. Good, and I ended up a little bit later, but I liked it. Now to our final competitor, a young lady chasing her fourth Moomba Masters crown, Jacinta Carroll from Australia. Oh, and what an opening leap for Jacinta Carroll. And as a distance come through, she's jumped 56.3 on her opening jump. She's taken the event on her first jump. Well, still two jumps to come, Robin. She'll want to do something here for the Moomba Masters crowd. Look at the power she gets behind that Nautique 200. The extension off the top, a beautiful opening jump. It's 56.3. The course record's in her sights now, coming up for jump number two. 
56.5 is that course record. Rob, can she do it here on jump number two? Well, when we're t- talking about Jacinda Carroll, anything's possible. Well, she's aggressive on the second. Oh, and once again puts out another enormous leap. And it is, in fact, a course record. 56.7 metres, Jared. Doesn't get any better than this. Oh, this girl can do no wrong here, Jacinta Carroll. Her 31st professional jump title here at the Moomba Masters for 2017. Just extending. Look at the way she just powers through the wakes. The extension off the top is just near perfection there from Jacinta Carroll. That's why she's the world record holder and that's why it's her 31st professional win there. Jacinta Carroll from Australia, the excited girl from Geelong. I'm over the moon, it's great to be back here on the Yarra and to make it four years undefeated as of today. Moomba 2013 was the last time I got second, so I'm just over the moon to get out here and do it in front of my family and friends. As the results come through, our winner, hopefully many more to come, Jacinta Carroll in first place, Alex Loritano from the USA in second, and rounding up the podium, Natalia Berdnikava from Belarus. Now to the men's jump final. Rodrigo Miranda from Chile, our first competitor. Well, he opened with a 62.3. We pick him up on jump number two. Eyeing off the ramp, just slows the skis a little, turns with aggression. Beautiful conditions out here today on the Yarra and pushes it off the top. Well, that's a leap of 64.6 for Rodrigo Miranda. Great opening jump. Yeah, Robin, it is perfect conditions at the moment. They've got a slight little head breeze for our skiers, and you see the lift off the top that the wind gives them off the top of our Nautique ramp. Doesn't move through the wakes there. Rodrigo Miranda extends beautifully off the top there. 64.6, his longest of the afternoon, and a pass on jump number three for Rodrigo Miranda of Chile. Now move to Taylor Garcia from the USA. This is his third. He's got a 58 on the board. He pushes hard. Oh, just spreads the skis a little as he comes off the top. But nonetheless, a 62.2. Well, it moves him into second position, but it's not going to be enough today. We go to Adam Settlemeyer now from the Czech Republic. His second jump pushes in heaps of speed. Oh, that's a great leap for Adam Settlemeyer. 63.5. Now we move to the USA and Zach Warden. Well, he has a 54.9 on the board. He won't be happy with that. This is his second. Oh, a beautiful wide approach. Look at the speed that Zach Warden has generated and 67.5 metres straight in the lead. And that's a brilliant jump. So, Zach, with a 67.5 on your second jump, how are you feeling for your third? I mean, I was just stoked to finally put one together. The first two rounds had some good things going. Just wasn't connecting them all and then... As soon as I left the ramp on that one, I knew it was going to be big, and it's good, man. It's going to put some pressure on some of these guys, but they're all capable of going that big, so hopefully my luck holds on and see where it's put me. But regardless, I'm super stoked with the way I skied, and uh, let's wait and see. Now Felipe Miranda from Chile. We pick him up on his third jump. He's got a 63.5 on the board, and that will be his longest, although he's a little disappointed. 64.4, he dearly would have loved to go further. Yeah, he would have, Rob, and let's look at this. He just gets in, just doesn't quite have the speed we saw from Zach Warden, 67.5, but still puts him into second place with two competitors still on the dock there. Felipe Miranda of Chile, 64.4. He knew it wasn't going to be enough. He knew he needed a little bit more in the tank there on jump number three. So we have our top three seeds coming up in this jump final. This is Bojan Shipner, the defending Moomba Masters jump champion. 58.7 on his first. He's increased on jump number two. It is a 64.3. It's not going to be enough to get him on the podium here in 2017. So we go now to the world record holder, Freddy Krueger of the USA. Let's see what he has in store for us on jump number one. Oh, oh, what a jump here from Freddy Krueger on the opener. It's a 70.2, Rob. What a start here at the Moomba Masters. Well, as we go to replay, Freddy Krueger sending a signal to Ryan Dodd on the dock, who's broke his course record yesterday and Freddy Krueger right back at you with an opening jump and he still has two more to come. Oh, what an amazing athlete. Yeah, well, that jump course record here, Rob, was 70.6 of Freddy Krueger's. Ryan took it yesterday with a 70.8. Let's see what Freddy can do here. Jump number two, perfect conditions. Again, a beautiful Whoa. jump oh, off the top. A, oh, he's got a, a little bit further, I think. 
So that distance coming through now from our judges, 70.4. We saw his course record yesterday of 70.6 be broken by our next competitor off the dock, Ryan Dodd, uh, to a 70.8. Can Freddy Krueger look at the, the flight he gets through the air here, Freddy Krueger, on jump number two, 70.4. One jump to come. Can he take the course record back here, Rob? He's got a solid score to start. Well, two jumps over 70 metres in one set. This is unprecedented. Oh, but he's backing it up with another solid push. Oh, oh he's flown again. Oh, Freddy Krueger, this is unbelievable. Well, and he knows he's gone a long way, and I think a distance is coming wow. to hand. Will he be the champion? Well, no. Ryan Dodd's still to ski, and we go to replay, and I think the distance just coming through now, Jared. It is. It's a new course record, 72.3 metres at the Moomba Masters. Freddy Krueger. The world record holder. That's why he is putting the pressure aside and really putting a big jump out there for our top seed, Ryan Dodd, to chase here. But that is a huge jump here at the Moomba Masters for 2017. 72.3 from Freddy Krueger. Freddy, with a course record on your third jump, absolutely smashing it out of the water. How was it out there? Well, it's beautiful. Um, and... With a guy like Ryan chasing me off the dock, he's been, I've been putting out big jumps all weekend. He's just been swatting him away on his first jump. So, uh, you know, the first jump felt great, but I knew I had to keep going harder and harder. Uh, the last one I, was the first jump all weekend. I really got my turn right. So I'm excited. Hold my breath though. I mean, this guy's a champion. We'll see how it shakes out. Well, after an opening jump of 63.1, Canadian Ryan Dodd, well, he's got a lot of work to do. He's got a ton of work to do. Well, the skis just spread off the top on that second jump, but it's still a distance of 69.7. Well, still a little shy of Freddy Krueger, but with one jump to go, we go to replay, but Ryan Dodd with all to do. Yeah, he looked good, didn't he? He just lost that uh, extension off the top, just had his legs were a little bit too wide apart as he hit the Nautique ramp. Look at the power he gets in, just upper body crushed and missed that kick off the ramp there, Ryan Dodd. But still, 69-7. Can he do it here? He has one final jump to come here in this Moomba Masters final from Canada. Let's see what he has for us here. Ryan Dodd coming back now for jump number three. He's seen that jump of Freddy Krueger, a 72.3. It'll be sitting in the back of his mind. Can he take this course record here again? Final jump coming up for Ryan Dodd. Makes the turn. Got a lot of speed here. No, doesn't move through the wakes. He's off the top. It's good float, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. 63 metres there. The Moomba Masters jump champion will go to Freddy Krueger of the USA. And after a jump final that will go down in Moomba Masters history, our winner, Freddy Krueger, second place, Ryan Dodd from Canada, and in third, Zach Warden from the USA.